in this episode i'll discuss about the rails callbacks and how it works so let's get started this is based on the blog post on rails on wave.com march 21st i have a project and i have sub project which is a subclass of project now i'm going to declare in project class Active records um, after save filter. After saving the record of a project record, this after save will be called. So we are going to call a method called right log project saved, which is a protected method. And I'm just going to print out or save the project. In sub project, it will also have after save instead of uh, right log project save, it will have sub project save and it has its own definition of it and that's it now let's go to the console and since I have uh, changed the project and the sub project, I'll reload it and let's create a new project. Create and it says save the project. Now let's create sub project. And it says save the sub project. That's the behavior right now. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Uh, this is kind of like uh, overriding. You have sub project, you have after save in the sub project, and it's calling its uh, right project save, whereas the subclass has defined the same callback uh, um, after save callback but it's executing its own implementation and its own uh, method here so it has it's overriding basically subclass is overriding the behavior of its uh, parent and you saw it printed save the sub project instead of save the project now the diff let's see what the difference is if you define this as um, after in the macro style after save you just give the name like this instead of defining it as a name here also we'll do the same after save give this name of the method as a symbol and Let's reload and see what, how the behavior changes. Create a new project. Is say the project. Let's say sub project. Okay. 
see what happened this time since we are using the macro uh, callbacks instead uh, before fil uh, after save filter it's uh, the subclass calls its parents um, method and then it, it executes its own after share method it says save the project and then it says save the project that's the difference so if you know this difference you will be able to actually make decisions uh, as to you know whether this is the desired behavior or not and it won't surprise you and you won't introduce inadvertent bugs into your code so i hope this uh, this screencast was helpful and if you enjoyed it please recommend me on working with us thank you